Lesson 200 from A Course in Miracles. There is no peace except the peace of God. Seek you no further, you will not find peace except for the peace of God. Accept this fact and save yourself the agony of yet more bitter disappointments, bleak despair, and sense of icy hopelessness and doubt. Seek you no further. There is nothing else for you to find except the peace of God, unless you seek for misery and pain. This is the final point to which each one must come at last to lay aside all hope of finding happiness where there is none, of being saved by what can only hurt, of making peace of chaos, joy of pain, and heaven out of hell. Attempt no more to win through losing, nor to die to live. You cannot but be asking for defeat. Yet you can ask as easily for love, for happiness, and for eternal life in peace that has no ending. Ask for this, and you can only win. To ask for what you have already must succeed. To ask for what is false can be true, can only fail. Forgive yourself for vain imaginings and seek no longer what you cannot find. For what could be more foolish than to seek and seek and seek again for hell when you have but to look with open eyes to find that heaven lies before you through a door that opens easily to welcome you? Come home. You have not found your happiness in foreign places and in alien forms that have no meaning to you, though you sought to make them meaningful. This world is not where you belong. You are a stranger here. But it is given you to find the means whereby the world no longer seems to be a prison house or jail for anyone. Freedom is given you where you be held but chains and iron doors. But you must change your mind about the purpose of the world if you would find escape. You will be bound till all the world is seen by you as blessed and everyone made free of your mistakes and honored as he is. You made him not, no more yourself, and as you free the one, the other is accepted as he is. What does forgiveness do? In truth, it has no function and does nothing. For it is unknown in heaven. It is only hell where it is needed and where it must serve a mighty function. It is not the escape of God's beloved Son from evil dreams that he imagines, yet believes are true, a worthy purpose. Who could hope for more while there appears to be a choice to make between success and failure, love and fear? There is no peace except the peace of God because he has one son who cannot make a world in opposition to God's will and to his own, which is the same as his. What could he hope to find in such a world? It cannot have reality because it never was created. It is here that he would seek for peace or must he see that, as he looks on it, the world can but deceive? Yet can he learn to look on it another way and find the peace of God? Peace is the bridge that everyone will cross to leave this world behind. But peace begins within the world perceived as different and leading from this fresh perception to the gate of heaven and the way beyond. Peace is the answer to conflicting goals, to senseless journeys, frantic, vain pursuits, and meaningless endeavors. Now the way is easy, sloping gently toward the bridge where freedom lies, within the peace of God. Let us not lose our way again today. We go to heaven, and the path is straight. Only if we attempt to wander, can there be delay and needless wasted time on thorny byways? 
God alone is sure, and he will guide our footsteps. He will not desert his son in need, nor let him stray forever from his home. The father calls. The son will hear. And that is all there is to what appears to be a world apart from God, where bodies have reality. Now is there silence. Seek no further. You have come to where the road is carpeted with leaves of false desires, fallen from the trees of hopelessness you sought before. Now are they underfoot, and you look up and on toward heaven with the body's eyes, but serving for an instant longer now. Peace is already recognized at last and you can feel its soft embrace surround your heart and mind with comfort and with love. Today we seek no idols. Peace cannot be found in them. The peace of God is ours, and only this will we accept and want. Peace be to us today. For we have found a simple, happy way to leave the world of ambiguity and to replace our shifting goals and solitary dreams with single purpose and companionship. For peace is union, if it be of God. We seek no further. We are close to home and draw still nearer every time we say, There is no peace except the peace of God, and I am glad and thankful. It is so. And now for the reflection on Lesson 200. This is a call for us to return to love, to return home. Jesus says in this lesson, You have not found your happiness in foreign places and in alien forms that have no meaning to you, though you have sought to make them meaningful. This world is not where you belong. Can we be more direct than that? This is not your home. Jesus says, it's time to come home. It's time for you to release your dependency on all these shifting, terrible dreams. Realize that they never gave you what you wanted, even when they seemed to have for an instant. Still, there was that voice, that yearning, even aching inside you for the home that you know that you left behind. Come home. This is the moment that you chose. There's no reason 
to wait? Why would you wait in a world of such confliction? Now is the moment to realize that there truly is no peace except for the peace of God. You will not find peace here. People often ask me if I believe that true world peace is possible, and I have to say no, because this world was made for conflict. This world was made for opposing dreams. If you want peace, you must seek only the peace of God, for that is the only place it can and will be found. It is there now waiting. So come home. There is no more time to wait.